In these videos, we're going to figure out uh, a missing angle in a complementary or supplementary pair of angles, which basically means in that in these examples, you'll get pairs of angles, so two angles, one will be missing, and we need to be able to recognize if they're a supplementary pair, if they add up to 180, that's supplementary. So supplementary, add up to 180 degrees, that would be like a straight line. Or if they're complementary, and complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. So complementary. Complementary. Okay, there we go. So here we can tell that this is going to be a supplementary pair because this is a straight line. And when you have a straight line, the angles that make up that straight line have to add up to 180 degrees. So this question is asking for what? It says, what is the measure of y? So 45 degrees plus what equals 180 degrees. You can just subtract 45 from 180 to get y, right? Because if y plus something, y plus 45 equals 180, then if you take 45 away from 180, you'll have to be left over with that missing y. So this is going to be 135 degrees. And you could check 45 plus 135, that's a supplementary pair, right? And that does equal 180 degrees. And in this, we actually have a, a similar situation. We want to know what is the measure of angle, I'll write it larger, J, K, M. So just follow those points. Here's J, here's K, and here's M. And it forms angle X. So look at angle X and 2X. They're sitting on this line right here, so they're a supplementary pair. They add up to 180 degrees. So we don't know what X is yet. But if I know if I take two x's and then add it to another x, I will get 180. So this, if I combine these two, if I have two x's and then another x, we have three x's equal to 180. And this is saying, well, three times what, right, times what x gives you 180. So what number times three is, is 180? And if we can't see it, we can just divide both sides by 3, and that will tell us what the answer is. So we have to figure out what is 180 divided by 3. And that makes sense, right? If 3 times something is 180, then 180 divided by 3 would have to give you the missing number, and that here is 60, because 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. So x right here is 60. Okay, so it tells us in this situation that angle G and angle H are complementary. Ooh, and I think I spelled it wrong before. Um, complementary, I think it's C-O-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T-A-R-Y. And again, that means, that means angles that add up to 90 degrees. So they're telling us that angle G, which is this angle right here, and angle H, which is, which is this angle right here, if I add them up, I get 90 degrees. So let's do that. 2x plus 10, that's angle G, plus x plus 20, that's angle H, gives us 90 degrees. So here I'm going to add like parts. x and 2x, that gives me 3x. 20 and 10, or 10 and 20, sorry, equals 30. So 3x plus 30 is 90. And now to figure out <coughs> x, we can subtract 30 from both sides. Do that over here. So 3x plus 30 is 90. Subtract 30 from both sides. What do we get? Well, 30 minus 30 is 0. 90 minus 30 is 60. So 3x, we haven't touched that yet, plus 0 is 60. I'm going to rewrite that as 3x equals 60. And then divide both sides by 3. And we get x equals 60 divided by 3, which is 20. So don't be tempted here to circle 20 degrees because they want to know the measure of G, angle G. And angle G is not just X. That's what this is right here. We have X. Angle G is what? It's 2 
x plus 10. So we take this value and plug it into this equation, and we get 2 times 20 plus 10, which is 40 plus 10, or 50 degrees, and I get d. Okay, so this is asking in the diagram below what is the measure of angle x. So here's x right here, and we have 37 degrees, so one one way to approach this is to recognize that both x and 37 sit on this line, so they have to be supplementary. So 37 plus x, right, they're a supplementary pair, have to add up to 180 degrees. And to figure out the measure of x, I'm just going to subtract 37 from both sides. Here, 37 is giving me 0 because it's 37 minus itself. Here, 180 minus 37, I think, is 140, 43, and that's my value for x. And if you feel like this number is off, just check it by adding it to 37. And we do get 180. So here I get d again. The answer is 143 degrees. Okay, in this one, the writing's small, so I'll, I'll say this. In the diagram below, angle d, e, f. So we can follow those dots, d, E, F. That's that angle right there, 26 degrees. And F, E, G. So let's follow those points. Here's F, E, and G. So that's this angle right here. We don't know, that, know what it is. Um, but we know that, those, that this blue angle and red angle are complementary, which means that if I add them up, I get oh, 90 degrees, right? Complementary is for 90 degrees. So what is the measure, they ask here, what is the measure of FEG? And show your work. Well, let's add this up. Angle D, E, F, I would write that, that's our first angle, plus angle F, E, G, they're complementary, so we know they have to equal 90 degrees when I add them. And we know the value of D, E, F as 26 degrees. They gave us that. We don't know the value of FEG, but I know that if I add them up, I get 90. So I'm just going to subtract 26 degrees from both sides of this equation, and that will tell me the value of x. So x equals 64 degrees. So here x is just 64 degrees, and that's our that's angle FEG. I called it x. All right, and here they say, what is the measure of x, angle x? Well, again, one way to solve this is to recognize that this angle, which is 75 degrees, and angle x sit on this straight line. So if I add them up, I have to get 180 degrees. They're, they're supplementary. So to figure out the missing value, I'm just going to take 180 and subtract 75 from it, and I get 105 degrees as the value of x, choice C. In this problem right here, it says line segment L, so that is this line segment right here, and line segment M, that's this line segment right here, intersect at the center of the circle. What is the measure of x? So x is just this variable right here and represents this angle. So again, all we have to do is recognize where, where perhaps our straight line is if we have it. And we have it right here. So that means that x plus, it's hard to see, x plus 47 has to add up to 180. So again, I'm just going to subtract 47 from 180. x will equal that. And what do I get? Well, x 180 minus 40 is 140, minus 7 is 133. So in this case, angle x is 133 degrees. So in this case, it says, what is the measure of angle x in the diagram shown below? Well, here you can tell that we have this straight line. And this symbol right here looks like a square. means That's a 90 degree angle. So now, on this straight line, which takes up this whole arc, we have, that's 180 degrees. But we already know that this is 90, so we take 90 away. And then we know that this angle here is 67. So x has to equal the full arc, 180, minus this 90 degree chunk right here. 
and then minus this 67 degree chunk because that's what's left over is this angle right there. So 180 minus 90 is 90. Minus 67 is 23. So the answer here is A, 23 degrees. Okay, in this one, it says in the diagram below, triangle, triangle, sorry, right angle ACB. So where's that? A, C, B. So telling us that's, that's a right angle. It's 90 degrees. Right angle ACB is intersected by DE. What are the measures of DCB? Let's find that one. I always take a moment to find these angles. D, C, B. So this, this angle right here in blue. What are the measures, measures of DCB and ACE? So let's find that. A, C, E. That's this orange angle right here. Okay, so what can we do? Well, DCB, right? They, they label this angle right here. That's ACD. That's this angle. That's 37 degrees. So we know that's 37 degrees. And they told us right from the start that this whole angle right here is 90. So if I want to know this, this blue angle right here, or I'll draw it up here, it doesn't really matter. If I want to know that blue piece, I can take 90 degrees and subtract 37. Because 90 degrees represents this, this whole distance right here. Right? And if I take this green part away from the whole distance, the blue is what's left over. So that equals, well, 90 minus 30 is 60, minus 7 is 53 degrees. So I would say that DC, DCB, that's right here, I lost track, DCB is 53 degrees. So what about ACE? Well, let me just highlight that again. ACE right here, right? You can see that there's a straight line right here. So what does that mean? Well, that angle, that whole, that whole angle actually, let me, sorry about that. ACE, I'm sorry, it's not that whole distance. It's just from here to here. That's ACE. The straight angle, the 180 degree angle, sits on this line. So that's this whole distance right here. So the orange is right here. It's a little hard to see. And the purple angle, 180 degrees, is right there. So if I know that that whole purple distance is 180 degrees, I could subtract this little, let me get a different color, this little piece right here, this green angle, 37 degrees, which they gave us from the start. So 180 minus 37 is going to equal what's well, this part C over here, right? We're taking the whole angle, subtracting that little green part. And that equals, well, 180 minus 30 is 150, minus another 7 is 143. So I would say that ACE is 143 degrees. What do they tell us here? Well, they say the angles shown below are supplementary. Again, that means they add up to 180 degrees. So the measure of PQR is 2x. So where is PQR here? P Q, R. This angle is 2x. What expression represents the measure of S, T, U? Well, I know if I add S, T, U and, and P, Q, R, I get 100, no, yes, 180 degrees because they're supplementary. So what do we have here? Well, I would choose, um, I, I wouldn't choose A or B because 90 deals with complementary angles. Here, 180 minus 2x seems the most friendly to me because I know if I had a 180 degree angle and I wanted to find out this missing piece, let's say, you know, I, I connected these two and I can picture it almost as one big 180 degree angle. Well, if I want to, if I know the, the whole thing here is 180 degrees and I know that this chunk is 2x, if I took 2x from 180, I would have what's left over. So here, 180 degrees minus 2x minus this angle has to give us this piece right here. Has to give us the missing, the mystery angle. So, because I know that if I take y, that's, I'll say this is angle y, and add it to 2x, I know I get 180. So, in this video right here, we know that we have two angles, a and b. And they sit in this straight line right here. So if I add them up, I get 180 degrees. So x plus 2, that's angle A, plus angle B, 
which is 2x plus 4. If I add them up, I get 180. So x and 2x is 3x. 2 and 4 is 6. So that has to give us 180. And then just solve for x. Take, take 6 from both sides. And I get 3x equals 174. So then I take 174 and divide it by 3. And that's the, that's the value of x. So what is that? I'm not actually sure, but I know that 3 times 60 is 180. So 174 is pretty close to 180. It's 6 less than it. So that's two groups of 3 less. So 3 times 58 gives us 174, and x is 58 degrees. But here they want to know what's the measure of angle A. Well, A is x plus 2. So 58 plus 2, and that's 60 degrees, or choice G. Here, again, straight line, we know it's 125 degrees, so x and 125 are supplementary. So x plus 125 needs to give me 180, so I would say x is 55 degrees. And that's it. All right, hope that helped.